Bitcoin continues to threaten support. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XNS, the world's largest retail brokerage firm offering ultra-fast execution and no overnight fee. Look for the link in the description below. Bitcoin has plunged again during the early hours on Wednesday as it seems like we're doing everything we can to test the $60,000 level. This could be an entry, but you also need to be willing to cut your position quite quickly if we do, in fact, continue to drop from here. The $60,000 level, of course, is a large round psychologically significant figure, and I think that opens up the possibility of a lot of institutional money coming in, but you should also keep in mind that Thursday is Independence Day in the United States, so Wall Street won't be involved. And then, of course, Friday we have the jobs number, which can have uh, major implications on a lot of markets, not just Bitcoin. So I think the next couple of days could be rather noisy and tough. We'll just have to wait and see. But given enough time, I do think that eventually the buyers come back in. I do think this is an area where the market has made it clear that they are willing to jump in and get involved. Whether or not that ends up being the case this time, of course, we still have to wait and see. But it certainly would be an intriguing place to start buying. Anything below $58,000, though, could open up a trap door and we could see Bitcoin really start to fall apart at that point. Just above, I see the $63,000 level as your first potential target. But again, I would expect a pretty choppy and noisy behavior over the next couple of days as liquidity could be a bit of an issue. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.